Hello guys, in this video I will talk about counters in LaTeX. Counters are important because they are used to control the numbering, especially the numbering of pages, sections, etc. Here you can see the default counters in LaTeX. We use the comment with the counter name to display the value of a counter. Also, there are other ways to display a counter. For example, Arabic comment for uh, Arabic numerals. You provide the counter name as an input. Also, uh, there are comments for Roman numerals or letters. You can see the uh, corresponding comments here. Let me show you an example. Let's create an, another section. Let's say examples. And for example, this is section. Okay, this is section. I will use the comment with section. So section is the counter name and I am using backslash D in front of it. So as you can see, it displays three because it's section three. Or let's say this is section uh, Roman section in Roman numeral. Okay, here I display three as a Roman numeral. So these uh, comments can be very helpful whenever you want to display the value of your counter. Let's move to the other comments for the counters. To define a new counter, we can use new counter comment. It takes counter name as a monitor argument. Also, you can provide an author counter as an uh, option argument, which is the counter that makes our counter reset whenever it's incremented. And to increment a counter by one, we can use step counter comment. In addition to incrementing our counter by one, if we want to use as a cross reference, then we can use ref step counter. And to set a value of a counter to another value, we can use set counter comment, which takes uh, two inputs. And the second one is the number that we are going to set. And lastly, to add a number to our counter, we will use add counter comment. And this time we will uh, it will increment our counter by the second input now. Now let me show you an example how we can use them. Let's create okay so section let's create another section examples. This is the field section. Uh, first let's start with creating a counter. For that we will use new counter command and it will be example. So this is our counter name. And to use this counter in an environment, I also need to create an environment. Let's create a new environment. And the environment name also will be example. And it is an argument. And so this is the end part and this is the starting point and this is the end part. Okay, so this is how we can create an environment. Uh, here, I won't talk about much about it, but if you want to learn how you can define any environment, I recommend you watch our video by clicking the link above. And let me show you uh, how it looks like. So, begin example, and this is an example. Okay, I defined an environment called example and I created one here and it looks like this. Now let's modify it. Okay, first uh, let me add some space and then uh, let me add, let me just modify it. Let's say this is example and our input will appear here. And also let's make it italic. Okay, so it looks like this. So I just modified how you 
look like and now it looks like this now our aim is just using a counter so to be able to use a counter I will use ref step counter and I will specify the example here okay so every time I am using example uh, actually I am using example environment it will increase the counter example by one also it allows me to use the reference and also here I need to specify the, the let me write the example so it will show the okay, let's see our counter okay since this is the first example you can see it's example one uh, thanks to this comment or you can use our uh, for example let's make it Roman let's use Roman comment and it will show as R or let's keep it as Arabic okay so it will be a just number again so since we use ref step counter uh, let's add a label here and let's see this is example first and in the text I can uh, use for example example and add ref to example first and you can see uh, it's an example one because we have a reference right now this this is helpful uh, when you need to cross reference and you can use it you can do it by using ref step counter. Let me show you. Let me create another one. It's second example, and it will appear like this. Okay, let's also put some space at the end so that you can see there are some space, vertical space. This is middle uh, skip medium size actually okay so let's say some examples and let me make it into the new okay so this is how they look like it as you can see example counter increments by one every time I am using an example and let me use another one so this is the third example okay the numbering is one two and three if you want to change the roman or uh, uh, for example let me show you the alf as well so it will be capital a b and c and let me turn it back to arabic so that we can see it's actually now let's use the other comments as well for example, uh, set uh, set counter. So here, just between example one, example two, I will use set counter command, and I will set my counter example value to four, and it will appear as five here because it's increment four to five, and then it continues like this. Okay, or you can use uh, at the counter comment at the counter okay so it will add example by four and now with this the current value of example counter is five and when we use this uh, example environment it will increase by one as well so it will appear as six you can also use for example minus four and it will decrease to minus two okay then minus one so these counters can also take negative values uh, so this is generally how we can define counter and how we can multiply uh, its value thank you for watching the video uh, i hope that it was helpful uh, if you have any question please leave a comment hope to see you in the next videos